and gentlemen, boys and girls, live from the Walt Disney Theater on the glorious Disney Wonder, a musical celebration of magic and the movies, that fabulous parade of stars and statuettes, the Golden Mickeys. Accidentally did what? Oh, yes. Yes, yes, I hope the captain has a speedy recovery, but who's gonna host this thing now? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, uh, boys and girls. Oh, uh, my name is uh, Ensign Benson. And, okay, um, I'm your stage manager. We, uh, we seem to be having some technical difficulties, but, but I'm sure the show will resume in just a few moments. Someone will be right back. Okay. Open the curtain, please. I'm on the wrong side. What? Uh, you want me to host the show? Oh, no. Uh, no. <laughs> I can't host the show, no. <laughs> Uh, hello? Hello? <laughs> hello. Again. Uh, my name is Ensign Benson, and I'm going to be your host. <laughs> oh. Welcome to the Golden Monkeys! Oh, Mickeys! Welcome to the Golden Mickeys! Hey, kid. Looks like you could use a hand. Whoopi Goldberg? What are you doing here? <laughs> the captain called me on the ship to shore. We're old friends. You know, Mickey introduced us. Anyway, he said you might need a little help, maybe a few tips on hosting an award show. You know, performing in front of an audience. No, 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 you don't understand. I can't be the host. This is a big, splashy musical. Hmm, yeah, I see. Well, maybe you just better give up. 
Great. Awesome. I'll go get Ray. He'll be right back. Or you could just try. <laughs> sure. That's easy for you to say. You're Whoopi Goldberg. You're a famous movie star. And me, I just embarrass myself and make a mess out of the whole show. <gasps> oh. So you don't think you have what it takes, huh? Who do you think I am, Walt Disney? <laughs> now, you want to know something funny? Sure. I've just been reading a book about Walt, and he didn't have it so easy either. He didn't? No. Walt always wanted to be an artist, even as a farm boy in Missouri. You know, when he was 20 years old, he started his own cartoon company, but the company went broke within a year. Now, instead of being discouraged, he set out for Hollywood, where he joined his brother Roy, and the Disney Brothers studio was formed. They did well with their Oswald the Lucky Rabbit short films, but then they lost the rights to Oswald, and nearly all their staff. It was a terrible blow, but Walt didn't give up on himself. He quickly came up with a replacement for Oswald, a mouse, named Mortimer. Now, Walt's wife Lillian thought the name Mortimer wasn't quite right. She said she thought Mickey sounded better. And so, on November 18th, 1928, Mickey Mouse made his debut. He was an instant sensation. Wow. I never guessed Walt Disney had it so tough. But he still never had to host an award show. Well, now that's where I come in. See, I have hosted the Oscars a few times. And I'll tell you what, why don't we present the first award of the evening together? The first Golden Mickey goes to a film that was completely revolutionary when it was produced. Walt had decided he wanted to make a full-length color animated feature. Now, people thought he was crazy. They even called it Disney's Folly. What happened? Just went on to be the biggest hit of 1938. Which movie is it? Well, let's ask our friend here. Mirror, mirror on the wall, what was the film that started it all?
Goodbye, Snow White. Goodbye. Oh, oh, Snow White, wait. I forgot to give you your award. Oh, I'll never get this right. Snow White, wait up! Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the television and film star, Mr. Tim Allen. Hi, I'm Tim Allen, and I played the voice of Buzz Lightyear in the Toy Story movies. Buzz was a pretty heroic guy, brave and strong, made of 100% plastic. But Disney movies have shown us that heroes aren't necessarily big macho guys with utility belts. They can be anyone who stands up for what they believe in, or pushes themselves a little further than they thought they could go. Of course, a good utility belt never hurts, unless it's too tight or too low. Tonight's Golden Mickey is presented to the ones who inspire us to go to infinity and beyond. The hero. at the people down below me. All my life I watch them as I hide up here alone, hungry for the histories they show me. All my life I memorize their faces, knowing them as they will never know me. All my life I wonder how it feels to pass a day above them. Oh, my God. 
thrilled to present the award for best, oh, oh, best heroine in a musical set in China, circa the 12th century. <laughs> Turk? Whoa, 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 Turk! Whoa, watch it! <laughs> you almost hit the stick with your face! Turk, this is the hero section! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heroes are great. Especially the guy in the loincloth. Oh my but goodness. let's get to the funny stuff. Okay. Everyone loves to laugh, right, folks? Yes, 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 yes. The comedy tribute is coming up, but we have to stick to the script. Oh, paper! My nose, Turk! You crazy gorilla! Now, who's oh. ready to make some noise? Nobody's ready to make any noise, Turk. Cause this is the wrong part. I said, are you ready to make some noise? Oh, shh, this is the wrong part. I promise. Okay.
in Beauty and the Beast, and Mrs. Potts was a very good friend of them both. She was loyal and true, a kind face, when no one else seemed to understand. Disney films have given us so many friends over the years, from Pinocchio and Jiminy Cricket and Lilo and Stitch to the buddies in Disney Pixar's Toy Story and Finding Nemo. Tonight, we salute these friends with a golden Mickey for reminding us that, come what may, our friends will see us through. together and see it through cause you've got a friend in me now some of the folks might be a little bit smarter than i am bigger and stronger too maybe but none of them will ever love you the way i do it's me and you boy and as the years go by my friendship will never die you're gonna see
candlelight. That special someone sitting across from you, your heart's all a flutter. Well, I've never actually felt those things. But I've seen it in some of the movies we're about to celebrate. Tonight wouldn't be complete without a golden Mickey for romance. After all, at the heart of every Disney film is, well, the heart. Oh, this is a night, it's a beautiful night, and we call it a Berlando day. Look at the stars, they have stars in their eyes on this lovely Berlando day. For oh, this is the night when the heavens are bright. On this love, we about my past 
impossible. She turned away from me. He's holding back, he's hiding. But what I can't decide. Why won't he be the king I know he is? The king I see inside. Can you feel the love tonight? The peace the evening brings. The world for once in perfect perfect with all yourself. I really did. Do you want to know a secret? Yes. For years I have stood back there when my dream was to always be here. On stage. Well, my dear, if there was such a thing as a golden Mickey for faith, you'd win it. You see, you've learned the lesson of a lifetime. Something that Walt Disney himself believed. Something we should all remember. Trust in yourself. Always look to the stars and never, and I mean never, ever give up on your dreams. Who knows where a dream might lead? One wish may be all you need. There's no desire too great, no horizon too far. Who knows how a dream might soar? You'll find all you're looking for if you never give up wishing on a star. The journey begins when you trust your heart. The magic you need is right there inside you. Believe in yourself and watch the magic start. Never lose sight of one thing that was all started by a mouse. Nice. 
ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the Golden Mickeys. So thanks for your tuition, show of admiration, enjoy the 